Good morning. Welcome to our channel. Uh, in our video today, we are going to do some revision. Uh, that is biology. Form 2 work. We have a paper here that was done by a certain school. And in our last video or previous video, we did uh, from number 1 to number 15. Today, we are dealing with uh, number 16 uh, to number number 20 that is what we are dealing with today and we request you to watch this video up to the end uh, so that you can benefit uh, we want to take this opportunity uh, to request you to consider subscribing to our channel if you have not yet subscribed uh, we also want to take this opportunity uh, to thank our subscribers uh, for you have really uh, supported this channel today we request you to do uh, two things number one hit hit uh, like like this video and number two uh, watch this video to the end and uh, uh, what will happen is that uh, this channel will will continue growing because of your support and uh, at the end of the day, our learners will will pass the exams. Question number one: The diagram below is the last process that occur in alimentary canal of a man. You can see the process illustrated there. We have a piece of fat, process Q, and then fat droplet. You are told name the process Q above. The process is emulsification emulsification that is the process of breaking down fat into droplets number b explain explain the biological importance of the above process what is the what is the biological importance of the above process uh, the, bio, the biological importance of uh, breaking fat into fat droplet or into smaller droplet is to increase the surface area of the fat for easier digestion by lipase enzyme c name the substance that cause the process named a above what uh, what substance is used to break the fat into small droplet and that substance is bile salt it is also called uh gly, gly chocolate next we move to number 17. the diagram below represent dentition of formula of a certain animal you can see the diagram there you can see it is labeled uh letter x and y and you are told uh, number one you are told uh, number one uh, identify the part labeled x and y giving a function for each so number x or letter x is canine what is the work of the canine is tearing flesh uh, then y is canasial tooth canasial tooth what is the work of that that one is used for slicing or sharing flesh it is also uh, called crushing crushing it is also called cracking bones question c what is the likely food for the animal from which the jaw was obtained and what what is the likely food for the animal what is the food for that animal uh, which the jaw was was drawn here uh, that animal feed on what on flesh because of the dental formula you can see question number 18 state one substance that is taken up by active transport by roots and transporting to the rest of the plants so you are told to state one state one substance that is taken by active transport that is uh, that is biological process and um, by roots and transporting to the 
rest of the plant and that is mineral salts next we are told to identify one product of photosynthesis that is transported to the rest of the body uh, the rest of the part of the plant identify one product of photosynthesis that is transported to the rest of the plant parts that one is glucose you can also call it sucrose you can also write amino acids and get it correct you can also write vitamins you can also write fatty acids and glass roll if you write all these uh, you can get a mark for that because you are you are told to write only one product of photosynthesis only one so uh, you can also be told to write two so number 19 uh, the diagram below represent a plant cell and that question we're going to deal with it after this short break So welcome back our listener we believe you have subscribed and you have hit uh, subscribe button like button and bell icon uh, question number 19 the diagram below represent a plant cell that was subjected to a certain treatment we have drawn that uh, that exper experiment here at the start of the experiment you can see how the how the plant cell is looking like and at the end of the experiment you can see how it is appearing so question number one you are told account for the shape of the cell at the end of experiment if you explain properly you get two marks and uh, your explanation should be plant cell was placed in hypotonic hypotonic solution to its cell sap that is what you say and then you further explain and say it lost water by osmosis and then it became plasmolized it became plasmolized that is what happened if you write that remember in explanation in, in biology explanation uh, terminologies will hand you marks eh? don't use pure english in biology use terminologies to explain yourself uh, uh, question number b draw a diagram to illustrate how an animal cell would appear if subjected to the same treatment so if you if you put if you subject an animal cell to the same treatment it will look like this we have drawn here uh, that uh, that that cell like this it will appear like you can see so at the start you can see uh, it is it is big but at the end of the experiment it will appear as we have drawn question number 20 what is the name given to the difference or in a concentration of two areas which results in diffusion that one we call it concentration gradient question 20 b what is the effect of the above on the rate of diffusion and uh, explanation is the higher the gradient the higher the rate of diffusion uh, we move to question number 21 the diagram below shows a vertical section through a mammalian heart so this is a mammalian heart 
you can see it here we have drawn it for you and then you are told name part labeled a b e and f that is the question that you are given in another question they can uh, draw that mammalian heart and then they label different parts and then they tell you to uh, state the function um, for you to be on the safe side you must be able to draw the heart mammalian heart by yourself number two you should be able you do practice uh, and uh, be able to label all the parts all the parts all the parts uh, in mammalian heart and then the last thing you should understand their functions for you to be on the safer side so uh, the, you are told the name part labeled a b e and f a is pulmonary vein b is left atrium it is also called aurico e is tricuspid valve tricuspid valve and then f is pulmonary artery pulmonary artery and we have given you some guidance on how to how to get every mark if they bring on mammalian heart we are through with this video and we are thankful that you have watched this video up to the end and uh, we request you to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to our channel and uh, we also want to uh sincerely thank our subscribers and uh, those viewers who watch our videos up to the end because you have really supported our channel we are through with our video until next time goodbye for now